My next guest tonight is a deeply funny comedian with a very, very angry voice, which you can now hear in the movie Rock Dog. <laughs> That's right. Both kneecaps. Yeah. Really give it to him. Okay. Gotta go. Bye, Mom. Can we get a red cord to go with the red phone? Come on! Riff, you're bothering me. We got movement up here. One of the Mastiffs is heading out. What? A Mastiff is leaving Snow Mountain? <laughs> Please welcome Lewis Black. <laughs> so nice to see you. We have known each other since 1997. Yeah. That's when we first started working together on The Daily Show. Yeah. I have seen you... 20 years. I have seen you angry through four presidential administrations. <laughs> is, is there anything unique about your present level of anger with the Trump administration? Um... I did a lot of hallucinogens <laughs> when I was younger in order to prepare me for any eventual reality. <laughs> and um, I never saw this one coming. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, uh, let's talk about some uh, specifics here because uh, it's been theory up until this past week, and now we're, we're into the reality of it. What do you, what do you make of the immigration ban? Um, you know what's interesting is to see them, is to watch them. The amount of energy it must take for these people to turn bull <laughs> and insanity and meanness and make it look reasonable, mm -hmm. how do you do it? Also, something I should have said at the top, uh, when you go into, you know, work on this, we, we show it later, and you, you, this is, you know, live to tape, pixelate my face <laughs> and make my voice fake because I don't want that big baby yelling at me. Oh, it's a deal. It's a deal. Um, uh, now, there's also going to be a voter uh, fraud investigation. Trump has claimed for a long time that yeah. the vote was fixed. Yep. And then he won. Yeah. And then he <laughs> said... You can't that... write this <laughs> And then he continued to complain about it, which was very interesting, which is unusual to yeah. win and then, and then complain about it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and there's going to be an investigation now. Yeah. Uh, do, do, do you imagine that anything's going to come of that, or what, what do you imagine is going to happen what, there? Uh, first off, less than uh, half the American people voted. People don't d d d like to vote. Yeah. So um, uh, if they don't like to vote, why would you think they would like to then commit voter fraud? You can't even get them into the booth. <laughs> and it's such a... You don't even know. Right. Where's it's, the profit margin? There's no profit in it at all. And dead people. If, the only, idea. if only we had people cheating at voting, that would mean more people would show up to the polls. Exactly. And <laughs> running around town and, and stopping in at shops to, to get, mm -hmm. you know, to have a little lunch before they cheat some more. <laughs> Helping the economy out. You know, and then they go, oh, the dead people are voting. The dead people are voting. The reason those people are dead is because they had to vote so many times. <laughs> Warm out. They warm out. Now, uh, there's been a lot of... A lot of people have been worried about uh, Trump's coziness uh, with the Russians. Like, they don't know what his relationship is with uh, Vladimir Putin. He seems to like Vladimir Putin. He seems more. to. You know, yeah. he likes people who like him. Yeah, he got on the phone this weekend, evidently, with Vladimir Putin. Yeah. Did we know anything about how that conversation went, or...? I don't really care, because you don't... You don't trust any, any leader uh, who, who takes their shirt off in public. So no, so no President Matthew McConaughey then. No, 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 no. I don't know. 
I don't know. That's pretty tempting. You know, that's pretty seriously, tempting. that's just ooh. Uh, uh, what about you? Did you, did you, um, did you ever think about running, doing any politics yourself? Like, because you complain about it a lot, but have you ever thrown your hat in the ring or thought about doing anything? People like that. Yeah. Seem to like that idea. Yeah. yeah, if there was a year, this, sh this should have been the one I ran. Uh, who knew that you didn't have to know anything? Um, but uh, I, I left politics. I was the, uh, probably one of the only uh, men who ever was the head of the junior prom committee. <laughs> I ran the junior prom on the promise. In, I, in, in high school? In high school. Okay. Springbrook High School, Silver Spring. Uh, yes, yes, we gather everywhere. <laughs> the, rest, the rest of the committee is here tonight. Yes, yes sir. <laughs> Which we're having a reunion. And uh, <laughs> we, we ended up spending... Uh, we, uh, my, I ran on the thing that we wouldn't spend a, a lot of money. I would provide the cheapest prom ever. And, uh, <laughs> that, was your, that was your campaign that pledge? That was my campaign pledge. All right. And so, in, and we call, and it was, and the theme was showboat. And uh, like look, look it up! Like, uh, like Old Man River. No, not showboat. like Old Man River. But that's but showboat. You know, but, you yeah. know, the idea, we're in the South, Charleston, yeah. hoo-ha. Yeah. Uh -huh. So the idea was is to put, you come on, you follow that logic. And, okay. uh, Go ahead. And so in order to, uh, to decorate the place, I had the brilliant idea. We'd get some bricked, you know, uh, wallpaper to put on the, on, the, uh, yeah. on the bleacher sheets. And then on that, we'd put honeysuckle. So we went out to collect honeysuckle, and it turns out uh, it was poison ivy. <laughs> so, so a lot of the kids, it was cheap, but a lot of the kids, uh, you know, had, there was a lot of scratchy stuff going on. Well, yeah, probably chaperones didn't have to watch them. No, nobody there was nobody no. wanted to get down anybody's pants that <laughs> no, night. No. Um, Lewis, lovely to see you. Always a lovely pleasure. Lovely to see you. Yes. Rock Dog opens February 24th. The great Lewis Black, everybody. We'll be right back with Dan Levy.